Hello again, this is Doug the Tumene Gardener, and today we're going to talk about roses, hybrid tea roses versus flora bunda roses. So first off for hybrid tea roses, those are roses that are your classic one big bloom to a stem, cut them up, put them in the vase, really impress your girlfriend, your wife, really classic roses. Here's some of my favorite hybrid tea roses, that was secret. This one's Veterans Honor, your classic big red rose. Another really nice one with pink and white is this Rose Al. It's really kind of a, a really nice big bloom. The most famous of all the big red roses, of course, is Mr. Lincoln, very fragrant. Can have some disease issues all right on the coast, so it kind of likes inland areas a little better. St. Patrick's kind of fun because it has a little bit of green tint as, as it's first forming. Signature is your classic big pink rose, lots of really vibrant color in the garden. And again, these are big hybrid tea roses, one to a stem. Marilyn Monroe is a very disease resistant rose. And so these kind of roses, some of them have fragrance, some don't. Here's some of the more fragrant hybrid teas and grandifloras. Grandifloras are very similar to hybrid tea roses. I love my Barbra Streisand, it's very fragrant. Again, this is another Mr. Lincoln shot. Mr. Lincoln's your classic big red rose. Now compare that to Floribundas. Floribundas are smaller roses, but they'll have six blooms to a stem, as many as nine or 12 blooms to a stem. They're their own mini bouquet. They produce lots of vibrant color in the garden. That one's George Burns, a nice little compact guy, crazy color. And then there's Iceberg, another Floribunda with really good disease resistance, lots and lots of color. Sentimental is probably one of the most fragrant of all the Floribundas. It kind of looks like a hybrid tea rose. It's a, a big one. Priscilla Burton is one of the most unusual Floribundas out there. A little tricky to find, but still a gorgeous one. I love my Tuscan Sun. Lots of fun colors. It fades from orange to yellow to pink. It's really kind of a neat one. And again, this is a burgundy iceberg. See how much color a Floribunda rose produces on the garden. And that's the primary contrast between Floribundas and hybrid teas. Hybrid teas give you that classic one rose to a stem, put it in the vase. Floribundas are going to give you lots and lots of color in the garden. Here's an example of a mixture of hybrid teas and Floribundas and miniatures in some containers. So you get lots of color at different kind of layers. Betty Boop is one of my favorite Floribundas. Lots and lots of color. Not much fragrance, but lots of color. And of course, here's Sexy Rexy, a really great one for filling up the garden with lots of colors. A couple other fun ones, Playboy, and of course, next to that is Playgirl. And those are some nice, fun, single petal Floribundas. I love my Intrigue. Lots of great fragrance from that rose. And so these are some of the examples of roses. And if you like this, make sure you hit like and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. That's all for now. This is Doug the Too Many Gardener saying thanks for watching.